Morning guys, today we've got to get this frame sorted out. Uh, I'm going to drill and tap a hole in here for the fuel to go through. I'm going to make a breather in there. This thing needs to go on a diet, it's a little bit heavy. So I'll drill some holes in it, cut a bit of weight off. It's just going to be a lot of putting stuff together today and making it all fit. So I've trimmed the fat off this a bit, feels a little bit lighter. The next thing to do is I've got to make some little fuel nozzles to go in here and here. Since I don't have a lathe, it's going to be tricky, but I'll see what I've got. Okay, so I've got this little M6 Allen key bolt. I drilled a hole through the center and I've got this little piece of I think it's 8mm or 10mm rod. And weld that on there and then you use the drill press to lay that to the shape of a fuel line fitting. So this is going to be tricky. Okay, so I've whittled this down into what I think will work. Perfect, I can put a little clip on there if I want to, so that should work. I've got an O-ring on here, so it seals. Okay, I've got a two litre water bottle here. I'm going to see how much fuel this frame holds. Well, it turns out that this frame holds about two litres. But I have to tip the frame to get that much, so I'll never ever fill it up that much. Anyway, I'm going to put it back together. So I've got it back together. This is the most. This is the most together I think I've ever had it. Even got the clutch and the throttle all hooked up. All the wiring's hooked up. Um, I still need to put the chain on. But I've got a problem here with the carburetor. I bounce it up and down, and the spring hits there. So I'm going to cut a slither out of this and twist the carburetor sideways a little bit. And that should be pretty much it. It's almost ready to run actually. I still need to do the exhaust though, so I'm not going to get that done today. Okay, so I've soldered these holes a little bit, so I can just tip the carburetor sideways enough. And now I've got to file this down. So I've got that slither in there now, carburetor's offset a bit, which is good. Um, I played with this for ages last night, ended up taking the spring off here because it was still hitting. If I have the pivot in this position, it works. But then the next problem is the spring hits here, so I'm going to have to sort that out. Okay, shock's fitting now. It's close, but it fits. Next thing I'm going to do is shorten the chain. Uh, I don't have a master link, but I'll show you how you can get around that. First thing you got to do is grind these knobs off flat with your grinder. Then you get a screwdriver and put it in the gap between and hammer carefully. You move it around so you pop it off evenly. Once you've got this apart, what I like to do is get a like a cutoff wheel and you just put a little bit of a bevel all the way around because it makes it a lot easier to put back together. Then you put it up on your back sprocket, push the link through and then what I do is get a pair of vice grips. Uh, 
clamp it on there. Then all you do is weld there and there. I'm just using an arc welding rod stuck in a hand, uh, TIG handpiece. Mostly because I can't be bothered switching the leads over. But a MIG will work as well, or a TIG, but sticks easiest. And there you go, fellas. She's all welded up. I'm kind of ready now to give her a first start. Um, I can't ride it like this because the front wheel's no way near going to clear when the suspension goes down. So I'll have to move the expansion chamber, but I'll just give it a start up on the uh, start spray. So even with this kickstart, I don't get the full throw out of it. But it's enough to start it because it's so easy to start. So I've been missing it with this for a while. Uh, cut the pipe through there, bent it round, and I also cut it down the bottom there. And look, she clears just. So I'm pretty happy with that. This sticks out a little bit, but if you're riding on it, it's not so bad. So I might weld that off and figure out what to do with the back of it. So I've been at this for a while trying to figure out where to put the muffler. I was going to put it sort of down here, but there's a big gap right here. The other problem is I think that this pipe here matters on a two-stroke for the expansion chamber to work properly. So I've made this situation here. So it's going to loop around and go back in. So I'll try and make that. So I'm going to blank this hole off here and drill another hole here. See this muffler's sort of got a false back on it and I drilled through just on the edge. That was lucky. I mean look at that exhaust. How ugly is that exhaust? Does that look entirely horrible? Maybe I should redo it. Anyway, it'd be enough to write it around. Put a comment in the comments what you think I should do, how ugly does it look. So I've got this off, it's all tacked up, but now I've got to go around and weld the whole thing with a stick welder. I can't use the TIG because it's too dirty and I don't have a MIG welder, so it burns holes through really easy, so it's gonna be tricky. Cue the time lapse. Okay, the exhaust swelled it off and it's on there now. Actually, I don't think it looks too bad now. So, time to test ride. That was the first test ride and it was not too bad. Uh, I'll start with the good things. Uh, it handled really nicely. The exhaust was good, it was quiet. Um, it was easy to start. Everything feels sweet. Feels like the back suspension's got enough springiness to it. Um, okay, now the bad stuff, which is a lot of. I need to adjust the front forks because they sag a bit too much. Uh, the chain. The chain just uh, bucks itself off because this is on an angle it tries to push the chain off. So I've got to put a roller here or something or even make the chain go this way. I need an air filter. It'll run nicer with an air filter and also I'm worried about... Oh, that's loose. Also worried about it sucking up dirt. Um, the tyre rubs on the muffler. I was, I was going to do some jumps but 
if it was going to snap the muffler off, so I'll have to bend it out a bit, that's no big drama. Also the uh, shock, because I cut the reservoir off it, it's got no oil on it, so it's just a spring basically, like a pogo stick. So I've got to sort that out, I've got no back brakes on, I'm going to fit them. It's been a bit of a long one guys, but I'm really enjoying this build, so subscribe, leave me a comment, see you next time.